Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today I will be introducing to you how to integrate the use of Atom Mini Pro and YOLO Box, as well as the advantages of combining them. Compared to Atom, YOLO Box's advantages not only lie in its support for comments and multicasting, but also in the fact that it consolidates all these features into one box with a screen. If you need to use features unique to ATEM, then this compact black console will meet your needs. Further, compared to Atom Mini Pro, YOLOBOX performs better in terms of graphic functions. Take Ultra, for example. You can add a free countdown timer, web URL overlays, or social overlays on the screen. You can also add your own lower thirds or other animated images or text elements through image overlays. And Atom Mini Pro does not have multi-views feature to support complex screen layouts. You can achieve this through YOLO Box. Moreover, using Atom with YOLO Box implies a collaborative effort among multiple individuals. Specifically, one person can control the switching between different cameras independently, while another can manage all features of YOLO Box. Different people focus on different aspects of the live broadcast, making it more organized and controllable. Finally, including the SRT input and RTMP input, we've determined that during a live stream, YOLO Box Ultra is capable of supporting 17 external cameras operating simultaneously. YOLO Box Pro can handle 9, and YOLO Box Mini can manage 7. Therefore, if I need to connect more external cameras, I could consider integrating an ATEM Mini Pro. The operation steps are very straightforward. Now that my YOLO Box Ultra and ATEM are all set up, all I need is a single HDMI cable. Of course, since the ATEM Mini Pro also supports USB output, you can output the program from YOLO Box to ATEM via a USB cable. However, this will occupy the USB output port, and you won't be able to record Atom's own backup to the USB drive. Therefore, by transmitting the program through HDMI, I can still connect the hard disk to the USB port. Now plug one end of the cable into the HDMI out port of the Atom, and the other end into the HDMI in port of the YOLO box. Then we can see the corresponding video window in the bottom left corner of the Ultra. This video window carries the console screen of Atom. Now I can directly switch cameras by pressing the 1, 2, 3, 4 buttons in the lower left corner of the Atom console. Therefore, if you need to switch between multiple video sources quickly during the live broadcast, rather than looking for the target among multiple video sources and then reacting, the combination of Atom and YOLOBOX will give you a better live broadcast experience. At present, the Atom Mini Pro does not support ISO recording at 4K 30fps. If you wish to ensure 4K 30fps ISO recording while live streaming, you can delegate the live streaming task to Atom, and then the Ultra only needs to be responsible for 4K 30fps ISO recording. Of course, you can still smoothly use all the features of Atom during the live broadcast. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also. Don't forget to join our Facebook user group, where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactiyololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 13735 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp the number is still plus 86 13735 812589. Keep experimenting with these settings to find your perfect setup and happy recording.